I'm Jeff Baker of the Seattle Times, and I'm here today to speak to you all about a subject both near and dear to my heart, Pacific Northwest family values. You see, I really am from the Pacific Northwest, born and raised, a lot like you, just a little different. The difference with me is I happen to be born in Canada, but the good news is, since I moved south of the border, I tend to lump the entire country of Canada in as part of the greater Pacific Northwest experience. So I feel that leaves me highly qualified to speak to you about a disturbing piece of information that's come my way surrounding Mr. Matt Pittman. Now, Pittman happens to be my opponent in the upcoming Brock and Sock Media Bracket Challenge on ESPN 710 Seattle. And it seems he's been walking around Seattle trying to tell everybody he's Pacific Northwest born and raised just like you and me. Uh, that's not the case. You see some crackerjack investigative reporting by myself has uncovered the fact that Matt Pittman happens to hail from Georgia. No, not the country of Georgia. That would actually work out for him. No, uh, Matt Pittman is actually from the, the state of Georgia and not that quasi-sophisticated wannabe city known as Atlanta. He actually happens to hail from, shall we say, more uh, rural parts of the state. How do I know this? Well, I happened to have a long conversation the other day with his pa, uh, a man who goes by the name of Cletus, and what Cletus Pittman told me was that he loved his young boy, Matthew, but unfortunately he was a man of what they like to call modest means. And the problems grew with young Matthew uh, when he would sneak out of the house in the middle of the night, wander over to the woods nearby, drop down on all fours, and as one eyewitness liked to describe it, would make barnyard animals uh, noises uh, akin to squealing like a wild hog. Now, th that became a little much for the rest of the, the Pittman kinfolk to take. I mean, they'd already dealt with Matthew's rather slow uh, learning abilities, the fact that he had trouble spelling his last name, would always forget the second T in Pittman. And the problems grew, though, when he started making the barnyard animal noises. Uh, there's only so much the Pittman clan was ready to take as far as their standing in the community went. So what they did was they bundled young Matthew up, put him in the family automobile, which happened to double as a spare bedroom, drove him to the banks of the river, paid a caretaker 75 cents to put Matt Pittman, Matthew Pittman, on a uh, floating barge, and they floated him upriver, where three weeks later, he arrived on the great shores of the city known as Seattle. And ever since then, Matthew Pittman has been trying to pass himself off as a native Seattleite. Now, I got to say, we're not anybody here to pass judgment on people. We don't care where you're born. We don't care what city you're from. And when I say we, I, I mean my research associates, uh, Alice Cooper and Senator John McCain and myself. Uh, we've all been working on this story together. And uh, we have to say that, no, go take your nap. Uh, we have to say that uh, we don't care where you're from. We don't care who your parents are. But we do care about people trying to sneak the Confederacy into Seattle's bedroom. Room. And we're not going to allow that. So I have to say, when you have your choice this week, cast your vote, your vote for Jeff Baker in the Brock and Salk Media Bracket Challenge. Don't let Matt Pittman do this to you. Don't let him catch you off guard. Now, if you happen to be watching this and your name is Matt Pittman, all I can say is welcome to your nightmare. I'm coming to get you, boy.